I'm in love with this place. There are sheep, uh, cows, uh, goats along the way, so obviously it's a place uh, to buy some cheese. The town itself uh, is also very pretty, so uh, here we have uh, what they call uh, a uh, river park. So a section of uh, the river uh, with um, banisters uh, and uh, places for bird watching. Very, very nice, very beautiful, very picturesque. So we have a, a friend, a new met friend. Did you do the race today? Me? No, yeah. no, no, I'm no, a no. motorcycle mechanic. I come from Sulmona. All right. I took my so, girlfriend up here just to see the environment. So you're local in the sense that you're from the same region? Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he was pointing out that uh, this is also a place with a history for World War II because yeah. uh, this river, River Sangro, was a part of a Gustav line uh, that uh, should have uh, stopped uh, the Allied advance right. uh, from South Italy towards uh, the north of Italy. And yes. actually it did, it was uh, very effective. Uh, the German were very cruel people during yeah. World War II, but also excellent soldiers. Correct, so oh, yeah, yeah, beautiful. The river turned uh, right. red uh, with uh, the, blood the blood of, of the uh, thousands and thousands of uh, soldiers uh, who died, unfortunately. Fought, fought for this line, yeah. Yeah, youngsters between 22 and 18 years old, they're all dead. And uh, the bit, there's a little village up here called the Pietranzieri. And uh, the Germans did a um, uh, um, mass, mass homicide, killing 93 people amongst um, kids, old people and women. I remember this episode and I also remember that some years ago the German Prime Minister um, yes. came back to Italy and actually said he was uh, ever so sorry that this happened so there was an official apology. Yeah. However, at the time uh, the Prime Minister in Italy was uh, Berlusconi yeah. and he was an ally of um, Alleanza Nazionale which uh, was derived from a fascist party. So guess what? Berlusconi, who was the Prime Minister at the time, and Gianfranco Fini, uh, who well, you know, might have they, been yeah. uh, the Minister of Interns, didn't show up for reconciliation. <laughs> Big yeah. opportunity lost on their part. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's another tale. Uh, forget it. But, yeah. <laughs> so, however, earlier we said that there are no trout right here because the water is too shallow. It turns out that both of us were mistaken because we just noticed a couple of uh, fish uh, I don't think they're trapped, swimming yeah. around. They might not be trout, but they're fairly big oh, yeah, yeah. and uh, they're swimming around and uh, enjoying the nature. So uh, after the race, uh, I couldn't resist the temptation to stop uh, in a nice uh, grocery shop and a cheese <laughs> stop. It's uh, absolutely authentic. We have uh, Cacio Cavalli, Scamorze, we have uh, goat's cheese, uh, a very interesting pecorino and uh, something special. Um, the shop owner is uh, passionate about uh, truffles, so he found many, many truffles. He must have some dogs that are trained, so a wonderful collection of truffles. This one is enormous. 150 grams. 150 grams. A record. I just met uh, Mark. Mark uh, is uh, my same age, yes. hence uh, he is uh, my same category, M1, and uh, he is a friend but also a terrible enemy because he overtook me the last 200 meters of a race and uh, gave me about 10 seconds and he got a prize and no, I didn't. It, it's not my fault. It's it was my it. fault, it was my fault. I let him go. I have to admit defeat. But and next time, next time, I'm thinking, I I'm will thinking you. memorize your face <laughs> and I will never ever let you pass. Okay. I, I was thinking that you, you were younger. <laughs> so. How old are you? I'm 39. 39? 39. 
13. 39. And you're my category. <laughs> yes. Shit. I'm uh, 44 this year. Uh, the last, the last, last year. Last <laughs> year. And no. for me, the first year in America. All right. All right. So next year we won't be enemies anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have uh, the press ceremony for the women. So Emanuela Montanari in uh, first position. Lidia Principe uh, from Terra dello Sport uh, in second position. Emanuela ran the race in two hours, uh, 31 minutes, so very, very fast indeed. Bravo, Emanuela. Giovan Battista Pisano in third position. Mr. Murolo in second position. Carmine Rozza is the winner, so he came in first last year, but uh, he won the race this year. Here with hours, six minutes. Here's our friend Rosa, the winner. Hooray for Carmine! Yo, man! We have uh, Francesco Pica, the guy with the red t-shirt, in first position for category S3. This is my friend Raffaele. Raffaele came in in fourth place for his age group. So unfortunately he didn't make it into third place. And the same thing happened to me. I came in fourth place as well. Sorry Raffaele, we'll, we'll come out on top next time. Yes. This is uh, the M1 category. So Francesco Panarella in uh, first place. Uh, congratulations uh, to Francesco. Lidia Pontecorvi, the only woman here for category S1. Very pretty indeed. For S4 we have Maria Grazia Carlino, Mary Grace, beautiful name, Tina Perecelli in first place, Maria Luisa Langella. Maria Luisa Langella is the winner, is Di Benedetto in second place for M1, Maruska Crecchia is uh, the queen of the M2 category. The mayor of Alfedena is on the right, uh, so he is taking part in the prize ceremony. Luisa Cilli in white uh, is uh, the winner of the category. Very elegant, very smart. Uh, these uh, older girls have uh, very muscular bodies, they look very tough. The vice mayor is uh, giving the prize to Giovanna Patrini for category M3. A little bit of a flirt going on there. This is uh, the prize uh, for the relay uh, competition. So these are two of the athletes of uh, the relay race uh, who came in first over all the other relay teams. Alfedena is celebrating its own athletes. Uh, this is uh, Paolo, he took part in the race. It was his first uh, Olympic triathlon and he is uh, absolutely thrilled. The other athlete was uh, the chef. He was uh, acclaimed like the local hero. So uh, good for you. Naturally, the race uh, is uh, giving a prize to the mayor and uh, the vice mayor for taking part in the event. So goodbye everyone uh, from uh, Alfedena, from uh, the local bar, which is called uh, Caffetteria Alfedena, unsurprisingly, and uh, boasts uh, some of the best uh, wines in uh, Abruzzi. See you next time. Subscribe to my channel if you like the videos.